In this video, we're going to take an overview tour of the web development process template. So what we have here is we have the template is here and you can see all of the lists, as you might expect, you know, are listed in this overview folder. Now, the folder view is each website that you have is going to be a folder. And within each folder, so this would, let's say this is going to be, you know, our website, shorthillsdesign.com. This would be shorthillsdesign.com, whatever you want to call it. We usually call it client name dash WP, but for WordPress, but whatever kind of site you're building is fine. So let's take a look at the lists. And we used to have this as one long list, but we found that sorting became difficult. And with ClickUp and resorting and changing things, it just became, you know, if we updated or sorted, it became really slow. So we decided to break it up into lists. And what this also does, it allows us, and you'll see later on, to sort and to group what client is where in the process. So let's just take a look, um, an overview. So here's the admin list, and this is where we have very brief information about the client. And um, you know, just so the team can take a quick look. Obviously, we have a CRM that has the information here, but what is the you know absolute minimum amount of information we could have that our team needs to know? And that's the admin list that we'll get into. We've got our discovery, which goes through all of our, obviously our discovery, which we'll walk through. And again, you, you can edit this for yourself, but we have a combination of lists and, a com and um, subtasks. We've got the design phase. Again, our, you know, everyone does design a little bit differently. Of course, the, the concept is still the same in terms of, you know, doing rounds of mock-ups. You can certainly work that out however you'd like, but this is certainly, you know, a process that we've iterated over the years. Development, we build with Oxygen. Now, you might need your own um, your development process, but in general, you know, in terms of your dev site, setting up a dev site, you know, compressing images, all these things are very similar to what you would do whether you're doing, uh, you know, your own, you know, you know, vanilla JavaScript site or React, whatever you're doing, it's all, you know, the, the way you build it out, it's going to be specific to you, but to us, you know, we're using Oxygen, but you can certainly go over with, you know, what system you're using. And then in our launch phase, we have your standard things that we have into launch and we do have a post launch phase. And the reason we did it like that is because what happens is there are certain things you want to do at launch because, you know, you launch on a Friday night, let's say, which is what we like to do. So if we screw it up then we can restore later, you know, restore Saturday without screwing up the client. But then we have post launch things. So when we get the site launched and ready, I'm not so worried about schema.org in the beginning or about, you know, page speed you know, Core Web Vitals. I just want to get this site up and running. I want to make sure that, you know, I don't have 404s, that my, you know, that the thank you pages are no indexed, just basic things are going. And then we move into the post-launch phase. So that's the overview of our process. And then in the coming lessons, we're going to go into pretty deep detail into each of these sections and, you know, what we have and why we have it. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Uh, you can, you know, jump on the Facebook group and We'll be happy to answer the questions because if you have them, I'm sure that other people have them. And obviously, if you have suggestions, please let us know because we're always looking to make this better. And it's for, you know, it's certainly it's for us, but it's for you. But, you know, you'll learn from us. We want to learn from you as well. So comments, questions, anything, jump in the Facebook group and let us know. Thank you.